A little less than two weeks, Arkansas public schools will open back up. This year will look a little bit different amid the global pandemic. The Cleveland County School District has built isolation nurses station for students showing up with COVID-19 symptoms. Carrick Force Stephanie Sharp tells us how this school built this and how the superintendent hopes this will protect other students and staff as well. It was super critical. Schools across Arkansas taking every precaution as students head back to class, including the Cleveland County School District in Risen. When we started last year at this time, I would have never dreamed we'd been in this predicament here in August starting school again. Superintendent Craig Dupree says he and his staff have been working to figure out a way to limit exposure to coronavirus. They came up with an idea for an isolation building that sits on the edge of campus. Yes, it's a Dirksen building. Uh, you see them on probably any any area of Arkansas you go. Before this was created, the district's main nurses station was in the elementary school office. And all the high school and elementary go through there. This is where students with COVID symptoms would have to walk to get to the nurses office before the outside building was put in place. It's just a fancier storage building with amenities such as running water, electricity, and uh, cool air. The district's RN, Stephanie Wilson, will be stationed in the isolation building and will assess students who may have signs of COVID-19. We have a device ordered another cot and then we have outside we have um, an area for them to see it as well. It's a way to limit exposure for students and staff at the Cleveland County School District. We just had to monitor and adapt. Stephanie Sharp reporting the district's RN will have full PPE when assessing students. Cleveland School District has about 800 students and just over 100 staff members.